Hi students, how are you? In this course, we are going to know that what are the things we are going to learn. First one is complete details about GMAT test. Second one is technique to solve the data sufficiency questions and problem solving techniques in GMAT. Third one, all the concepts required for the students to score 400 out of 400 in GMAT maths quiz session. And I'll be explaining it through animated videos. So coming to the first part, complete details about your GMAT test. Who are the conductors of GMAT? What is the fees of GMAT? What is the registration process of GMAT? What are the different sections in GMAT? Timings of GMATs and the type of questions of GMAT and the strategies to solve those questions and yes, the syllabus and what actually universities look for. So this is what we are going to learn in the first part and in the second part we are going to learn about the techniques. So here we are going to learn how to solve a question without actually solving the question. It's like techniques which saves you a lot of time. And these are approximation, elimination, substitution, sequencing and with the help of these techniques you are going to save a lot of time and solve the questions accurately. Now moving toward the third one, what the concepts you are going to learn in your GMAT. So totally GMAT syllabus is divided into six parts. So they are numbers, arithmetic, geometry, 